Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the WWE 2K24 Universe Mode Series. We're here with the first Monday Night Raw after the Hell in a Cell Premium Live event. We're officially building towards SummerSlam now. The first ever two-night event of SummerSlam in WWE history in this Universe Mode Series. But we've got the World Heavyweight Champion Carmelo Hayes fresh off of a successful title defense in a triple threat match. That Hell in a Cell. So he went up against CM Punk and Braun Breaker. And somehow against all the odds, Carmelo Hayes proving once again why he is him and retaining that title. But he's got some words for us here tonight. Let's see what he has to say. Ever since I stepped foot on Raw, I told you all I was going to make my presence felt. From taking down Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank to surviving the special guest referee, the demon Finn Balor at Extreme Rules, I've proved that I'm the best in the business today. And just like I told you before, it's mellow time now, and nobody's stopping me. Hold on a second. Well, we haven't seen the ring general in quite some time. But he's here tonight. Carmelo Hayes. His celebrations cut short because the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history is making his way on out here. Now we know that he lost his opportunity to that intercontinental championship. His rematch clause that is. He lost out on that a few months back shortly after he lost that title as he opted instead to head towards the World Heavyweight Championship. And he seems like he's had to wait his turn. And maybe he feels as though his, his time has come, I guess. So Gunther, the ring general. Officially back here on Monday Night Raw. I'm sure he has something to say. Let's see what the ring general has to say to the current World Heavyweight Champion. Carmelo Hayes. You have indeed been impressive. But your reign has been marked by nothing but luck and interference. Whereas I am the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I held that prestigious title for 750 days. So that brings me to this. The time has come for a real champion to take that title. At SummerSlam, I am challenging you for the World Heavyweight Championship. Gunther, you may be big and tough. You might even be the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, but I'm the greatest world heavyweight champion of all time. So you ain't got what it takes to dethrone me. You want this match? You got it. But remember, at SummerSlam, you're stepping into Melo's world, and you won't like how it ends. So officially at SummerSlam, Carmelo Hayes versus Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, Gunther officially back on Monday Night Raw. We haven't seen him in quite some time. But moving on with the show. And we have this man, Damian Priest. The man who turned on his fellow buddy or fellow partner in the Judgment Day, Finn Balor. At Survivor Series, costing Finn Balor the World Heavyweight Championship. And you can hear by the fans' reaction, they are really not on the side of Damian Priest in this rivalry. So Finn Balor, the demon, did actually come out. The Raw after Summer, uh, not SummerSlam, Survivor Series. And actually attacked Damian Priest. And we haven't seen either of them since. But Damian Priest here tonight is in singles action. We're sure that he's looking to build some momentum heading towards SummerSlam. He may even potentially be thinking about trying to get himself involved in that World Heavyweight Championship picture. He has made it clear that he wants to go for that world title. So we're going to see if he can pick up some momentum here tonight and potentially maybe even start to edge himself closer into that world title picture. So again, Damian Priest in singles action here tonight. We haven't actually se really seen much of Damian Priest in singles action, to be honest, in this universe mode. So this is his opportunity to really get himself up the power rankings towards that world title. And Damian Priest will be coming up against none other than one half of DIY. He is facing up against Tommaso Ciampa. So Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano have... We've seen them here and there, and to be honest, they have actually been 
quite decent when we have seen him, especially Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano seems to, even though he hasn't had many opportunities, he takes the opportunity when it arises, so I'm sure that we're going to see more of him very, very soon. As for tonight, it's singles action for Tommaso Ciampa, who did get himself into the middle of a feud with AJ Styles. However, that feud seems to be put to bed now. Tommaso Ciampa was trying to go after that Intercontinental Championship, but ultimately AJ Styles was the man who dethroned the ring general Gunther to take that title, and he's held it ever since. So as for right now, Tommaso Ciampa and Damian Priest will be looking to build momentum as we continue to head towards SummerSlam. And we're underway with the first opening match of Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa sending Damian Priest into the corner and driving the elbow into the jaw and then a clothesline to the back of the head. Brings Damian Priest down to the mat, stomping away on the arm. Is Tommaso Ciampa now. Tommaso Ciampa. Stomping on the midsection. Doing well to keep the big man off of his feet early on in this one. It's a good tactic, but Damian Priest finds a reversal. Now Tommaso Ciampa brought back to his feet. Sent off the ropes and a big kick across the chest of Tommaso Ciampa. Taking Ciampa down to the mat. Damian Priest just targeting that lower spine, trying to wear out Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa definitely holds an advantage when it comes to the speed game. So I guess if you do target the ribs and the spine, then you are going to slow him down. He's not going to be able to breathe as much as he usually would. Oh, and a huge knee to the side of the head. Damian Priest, absolutely relentless here. Showing almost a new side of himself. Bring Tommaso Ciampa up onto his shoulder and hanging Tommaso Ciampa up on the top rope. Johnny Gargano not looking too pleased at what he's seeing, but big kick out found by Tommaso Ciampa. Johnny Gargano just trying to get the fans behind Tommaso Ciampa here. As Ciampa now finds a reversal. And Damian Priest sent over the top rope to the outside. Quick kip up. Tommaso Ciampa may have been thinking about a suicide dive, but it may have actually... Worked out in his favour that he didn't go for it. Big clothesline to the back of the head again. Tommaso Ciampa's feeling it here. Went for a big boot, but Damian Priest able to avoid it. Big kick by Damian Priest. Now these two thinking about trading blows in the middle of the ring here. Big right hands being delivered. Tommaso Ciampa asking for more from the big man. Big chops, back and forth we go. Damian Priest getting the advantage momentarily. Oh, and a huge kick takes Tommaso Ciampa down. Damian Priest backing it up into the corner. What's he thinking about here? Into a big splash. Now Johnny Gargano is clearly not very comfortable at what he's seeing right here. Thinking about getting involved, but he may not need to because Tommaso Ciampa into the fairy tale ending. Tommaso Ciampa into the cover for the victory. No. Damian Priest able to get the shoulder up. Big kick out found. Now Tommaso Ciampa just targeting the leg of Damian Priest here. Damian Priest wisely rolling to the outside. Tommaso Ciampa just trying to gather his thoughts and determine what he's going to do next. Heads to the outside to meet Damian Priest. But he decides to head back into the ring, interestingly enough. Could that cost him, perhaps? Sending Damian Priest off the ropes. Now Damian Priest finds a reversal with a clothesline. Well, it was a little bit odd that. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa did go to the outside and decided to go back into the ring. And now... The South of Heaven chokeslam connecting for the victory. He's done it. Damian Priest picks up the win. Oh, and Damian Priest is actually grabbing a microphone here. What's he got to say? You all saw what happened four weeks ago. The demon may have had his moment, but this is far from over. Finn, you and I have unfinished business and I'm not backing down. I know you're here tonight, so why don't you come on out here and face me like a man? Oh, God. Not this again. We've got a little bit of deja vu. 
Because it seems like the demon is back once again on Monday Night Raw. Damien, what have you done? The hairs on the back of my neck are standing up right now. We saw what the demon's capable of. Literally four weeks ago, as Damien Priest just mentioned. So why would you call him out here once again? And there he is. Finn Balor, the demon, is back on Monday Night Raw once again. Damian Priest really has unlocked something within Finn Balor. That betrayal must have really broken the psyche of Finn Balor. And he's ready to, I guess, unleash the demon upon Damian Priest. But are we actually going to get a conversation between these two or is it going to end similarly to how it did last time with the demon standing tall and the crowd seemingly don't seem to really be behind the demon that much here tonight surprisingly considering the fact that Damien's the one who turned on Finn but nonetheless the demon making his way to the ring Answering the call by Damian Priest. Let's see what's going to happen between these two then. Damian, you think you can break me? You think you can end me? At SummerSlam, I will unleash my full wrath upon you. Because there will be no rules, no disqualification. Just you and me, no holds barred. You're on. Another SummerSlam match confirmed. The Demon versus Damian Priest. Okay, so at SummerSlam, we will be seeing the Demon against Damian Priest in a no holds barred match. Can't wait to see how that one's going to pan out. But moving on with the show, and we got the return of the 619 or the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. We haven't seen him on Monday Night Raw ever, even since the draft. I guess we haven't actually seen him on Monday Night Raw in this entire Universe Mode series. Wiped out at the draft by his own son, Dominic. Officially made his return at Survivor Series during that 30-man gauntlet match. But finally, we're going to be able to hear from the master of the 619 here tonight. He's going to address the WWE Universe. Let's see exactly what Rey Mysterio has to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. It feels incredible to be back here in front of the WWE Universe. You know, these past four months have been some of the toughest of my life. Being away from all of you, from the ring, from my family. Speaking of family, there's one person I need to address tonight. My son, Dominic. Dominic, I've watched you grow up in this business. I've seen you become a man right here in this ring. But what you did to me, the attack... That hurt more than any injury ever could. I know you felt like you were living in my shadow. And maybe I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't understand. But Dominic, this is not the way. We are family. Family doesn't do this to each other. Dominic, I want you to come out here. Look me in the eyes and tell me why. Tell me why you did what you did. Oh, so Dominic is answering the call. I'm actually quite surprised at that. I thought Do Dominic wouldn't even have the time to address his father, and he is here. The question is, is he alone? The crowd just raining booze down on Dominic Mysterio. He has been slowly edging ever so closer to that Intercontinental Championship throughout this Universe Mode series, coming up just short at Crown Jewel when AJ Styles was able to get that title and dethrone Gunther by Dominic Mysterio slowly making his way to the ring and he does seem like he is alone here at least for now anyway so let's see exactly what Dominic and Ray 
are going to have to say to each other. Why? You want to know why? It's simple. I've spent my entire life being Rey Mysterio's son. Every accomplishment, every match, every moment has been overshadowed by you. I needed to break free. I needed to show the world that Dominic Mysterio isn't just your son. I'm my own man. Dom, I've always been proud of you. Everything I did, I did for our family, for you. Proud? Really? Were you proud when I was living in your shadow? When everyone compared me to you? No. I needed to step out and make my own mark and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to win the Intercontinental title. And I'm going to prove that I'm better than you ever were. Dom, I won't stand in your way. But know this, if you continue down this path, it will lead to nothing but pain and regret. We can fix this. We can be a family again. The only way we can fix this is if you stay out of my way. This is my time now. But as we move on with the show, we have some singles action for you. And we have none other than one half of the returning Hardy Boys. Jeff Hardy is in singles action for the first time in WWE in... I don't even know how long it's been. But Jeff Hardy is here, singles action, but he's going to have one hell of a challenge for him. He's going to be coming up against Bron Breaker, the man who wasn't actually pinned at the Hell in a Cell premium live event in that World Heavyweight Championship triple threat match. So I'm not sure how that's going to go down with him, especially seeing as he won the King of the Ring tournament to earn his opportunity there. And then CM Punk was just on one hell of a roll and... It was almost like he had to be included into that matchup, CM Punk. So that's why we had the triple threat match at Hell in a Cell. But Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy returning a few weeks back. I believe it was actually last week on Monday Night Raw, just before the Hell in a Cell Premium Live event. And they tried to take those tag team titles, the world tag team titles, away from the Dudley boys. But they were unsuccessful in doing so on that occasion. I'm sure that this is that won't be the last that we'll see of the Hardys boys going for tag team gold. But as for right now, as I mentioned, Jeff Hardy will be going up against Bron Breaker. A man who has been on one hell of a tear in this universe mode. We've got to think that it's only a matter of time before he gets some championship gold and clearly he wants that championship gold to be the world heavyweight championship he's really trying to go after that but has he missed out on his opportunity does he is, is he still worthy of that opportunity or is he gonna have to go to the back of the line and build himself back up once again only time will tell but Bron Breaker now making his way to the ring with determination in his eyes as always and I'm not sure why Jeff is standing there but okay so Bron Breaker also debuting a new theme song as you can probably hear as well maybe that's to show that he really does mean business and this could be this could even potentially be that loss in that triple threat match although he didn't take the loss as in he didn't take the pinfall that could be what he needs to propel him to the next level to actually be able to win that gold we're gonna see here tonight exactly where bomb breaker and his head is at as he goes up against one half of one of the greatest tag teams that we've ever seen in wwe jeff hardy a former WWE Champion himself. Former Intercontinental Champion as well, Jeff Hardy. So he's no slouch. Into the cover goes Jeff. To try and put Bron away early, but... I'm sure that he was well aware that... He's going to need to do a lot more than that. To keep Bron Breaker down. A fast start by Jeff Hardy here. Oh, but Bron Breaker finds a reversal. Could be the opening that he needs to get himself back into this one. Now cranking on the jaw of Jeff Hardy is Bron Breaker. 
Really talking on that jaw. Now stomping on the arm of Jeff. And Bron Breaker now looking to lock in a submission hole, just cranking on the neck and driving his knee into the spine. But Jeff Hardy finds his way out of it. Jeff Hardy off the springboard, he misses this time and... Oh no, well, it's a good job that he found a reversal. Because I believe Bron Breaker was going for some ground and pound to the back of the head a moment ago. But Matt Hardy bringing a kendo stick into the ring. The referee doing well to make sure he gets that out of dodge really quick. Now Jeff Hardy with Bron Breaker up. Looking to hang Bron Breaker up onto the top rope into the cover now. The fans well and truly behind Jeff here, but big kick out found by Bron Breaker. Now knee into the midsection of Bron Breaker here. And Bron able to slide out the way and into a spear out of absolutely nowhere. Bron Breaker into the cover for the victory over Jeff Hardy, no! Big kick out found by Jeff, but that spear really did come from absolutely nowhere. Matt Hardy going to make sure that he gets well and truly out of the way, but Jeff now into the atomic drop. And then into the leg drop. Onto Bron Breaker, that signature Jeff Hardy. Jeff trying to get the crowd behind him once more. With Bron Breaker now back to his feet, sent into the commentary desk. Five count. He's still going to need to head back into the ring soon as Jeff slamming Bron Breaker face first off of the apron. And now, Bron Breaker didn't even seem like he was stunned by being slammed into the apron now. On an eight count now, these two need to head back into the ring. It's a nine count. Is Bron Breaker going to make it here? What's Bron Breaker doing? Okay, that's what Bron. That's. I can't even talk. That's what Bron Breaker is doing. The Beast is back. And clearly, with a bit of a distraction on Bron Breaker. And he's here. The Beast Incarnate is on Monday Night Raw. Well... I don't even know what to say. The last time that we saw Brock Lesnar was at Crown Jewel. When Bron Breaker cost Brock Lesnar his place in the King of the Ring final and Brock Lesnar straight to the ring. Bron Breaker wisely heading to the outside. As Brock, Brock Lesnar right now just asserting his dominance inside the ring. Well, let's see what Brock Lesnar has to say, if he has anything to say. Well, Bron Breaker looking a little bit, taking it back. Bron Breaker, you think you're smart, huh? You think taking me out and stealing my spot at Crown Jewel makes you the top dog around here? You got lucky, kid. Real lucky. But here's the thing about luck. It runs out. And yours just did. You think you're the future? You think you're the new alpha? Well, I'm here to remind you who the real beast is. I'm here to remind you and everyone else that Brock Lesnar doesn't get pushed around by anyone. Brock, I didn't get lucky. I outsmarted you. I outperformed you. And I'll do it again. Haha. <laughs> Enough of this bull crap. I didn't come out here to talk. I came out here to fight. So get your ass in this ring and fight me like a real man. You really are dumber than you look. I do things on my time. And SummerSlam? Well, SummerSlam will be my time. SummerSlam, huh? You want to prove yourself? Fine, at SummerSlam it's you and me. You versus the Beast in a last man standing match. Let's see if you can survive. You're on, Brock. Well, this card really beginning to shape up. Last man standing, Brock Lesnar against Bron Breaker at SummerSlam. So, as we move on with the show, just moments after the return of the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. We've got Bray Wyatt back out here again. Well, I say again like he's been out here this week already. He hasn't already, but we have seen a lot of Bray Wyatt recently. Bray Wyatt and Alexa. Alexa Bliss successful at Hell in a Cell when facing up against Uncle and Auntie Howdy in a mixed-gender tag match. 
Alexa Bliss was the one who was able to get the pinfall over Auntie Howdy. So we're going to have to wait and see how things unfold going forward. Alexa Bliss is behind Bray just making her way down to the ring. Let's see what they have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Last night at Hell in a Cell, we did something extraordinary. We stood up to the darkness and we came out victorious. But I want you all to know this victory wasn't about me. It was about this incredible woman standing beside me, Alexa Bliss. You showed strength, you showed courage, and most importantly, you showed heart. Thank you, Bray. Last night was enlightening. The darkness isn't something to fear, it's something to embrace. Auntie Howdy showed me that. And now I feel stronger than ever. Alexa, I know you believe that, but the darkness isn't our ally. It's a force we need to overcome. Uncle Howdy and Auntie Howdy are still out there trying to control you. We need to fight them together. Oh, Bray. You're so determined to fight. But the darkness is intoxicating. Maybe you should just join us instead. Stay strong, Alexa. We'll face this together. We've defeated them before and we'll do it again. Whatever it takes. And moving on into the main event of the evening. And we have the women's world champion in singles action. We haven't seen her in quite some time now. But Rhea Ripley is looking to build some momentum heading in towards SummerSlam. She, su she su successfully defended her title. At Survivor Series against Charlotte Flair. And now Rhea Ripley is out here tonight looking to build that momentum heading in towards SummerSlam where we know that she will be defending that championship against the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. So Rhea Ripley is here on Monday Night Raw. The title is not on the line here tonight. But you've got to think that if her opponent, Rhea Ripley's opponent here tonight can pick up some kind of victory then there may be an argument to be had that maybe they should be added into that match at SummerSlam so Rhea Ripley will definitely want to get the victory here tonight so that she can just remain focused on Ronda Rousey and Ronda Rousey alone I highly doubt that she'll want more individuals to enter the fray in that matchup the more people that enter that match the lower her chances are of retaining that title. But Rhea Ripley looking as focused as ever. So Charlotte Flair was the last woman to try and take that championship away from Rhea. But Rhea was able to successfully retain that Survivor Series via, via submission actually. So Rhea Ripley are waiting for her opponent and it's none other than Raquel Rodriguez. So two powerhouses in the women's division going to go head to head in the main event here. If anyone can match Rhea Ripley for her power, it's going to be Raquel Rodriguez. This is definitely not a woman that Rhea Ripley wants to be added into that match at SummerSlam. Ronda Rousey is enough, but... If you add Raquel Rodriguez into the fray, then it's a whole different ball game. She's probably one of the very few women in the division that could probably go head to head with Ronda Rousey, Rhea Ripley, and match them for power. So Raquel Rodriguez will be looking to try and get a shock victory and a bit of an upset here to try and propel herself into that world title picture. So here we go, main event action, Women's World Champion up against Raquel Rodriguez, taking Raquel Rodriguez down to the mat early on, just trying to silence the crowd, but an Inziguri found by Raquel Rodriguez, big right hand by Rhea though, and now Rhea Ripley just slamming Raquel Rodriguez head first into the canvas, and just stomping away on Raquel Rodriguez here, Rhea Ripley really taking the fight to Raquel. 
Not allowing Raquel to really get anything going. But now Raquel Rodriguez with Rhea Ripley up. What she got planned? Driving Rhea Ripley down to the concrete floor. But Rhea straight back to her feet and into a clothesline. Rhea Ripley just does not know when to stay down. Raquel Rodriguez going to send Rhea back into the ring. She won't want the same kind of ending as Bron Breaker had in his match. And now into a neck breaker onto the women's world champion into the cover now. Oh, okay, but the referee is calling a rope break to the delight of Rhea Ripley. It's now Raquel Rodriguez who was maybe looking for a power bomb, but Rhea Ripley able to reverse. And now stomping away again is the women's world champion. Just stomping away and then sh showing the utter signs of disrespect and then continuing the assault. Rhea Ripley. Oh, it, and a big right hand found it. And oh, hold on a second. Ronda Rousey. Rhea Ripley's challenger at SummerSlam. And Raquel Rodriguez able to take advantage of that situation. Ronda Rousey clearly pleased with her actions just there. And now Raquel Rodriguez, double axe handle to the spine, but Rhea Ripley quickly back to her feet. This could be the opening that Raquel Rodriguez needs into Snake Eyes in the corner. And then a big elbow drop to the heart of the Women's World Champion. Rhea Ripley could be in some trouble right now. Raquel Rodriguez lifting the Women's World Champion up and just throwing her across the ring in that fall away slam. Raquel Rodriguez Quickly continuing on the assault, not allowing Rhea Ripley any time to recover. Face first off the apron. Well, Ronda Rousey's distraction has definitely, definitely helped out Raquel Rodriguez here. I'm not sure if that was the wisest choice though, because as we said, Raquel Rodriguez could be, could potentially be added into that matchup. So was it really a wise choice for Ronda Rousey to get involved here and? Rhea Ripley just tossed into the barricade. Referee on a five count. Now Raquel Rodriguez double handed choke slam. Slamming Rhea Ripley down onto the concrete by Rhea Ripley this time. Able to turn it around into a clothesline and now sending Raquel Rodriguez back into the ring. Raquel Rodriguez will need to be careful here because Rhea Ripley, you don't want to give her any kind of opportunity or any kind of opening. Hanging Raquel Rodriguez up off the top rope. Now Raquel Rodriguez back to her feet but into a clothesline by Rhea Ripley. Now Rhea Ripley into a German suplex delivered. And stomping on the back of the head now. And then onto the spine as well. Rhea Ripley, just, oh a big boot to the jaw. Raquel Rodriguez just straight back to her feet though. She won't stay down. Slam down to the mat. Rhea Ripley now into some ground and pound. Frustrations beginning to show on the face of the, the Women's World Champion. Can she get the victory in the lead up to a big match at SummerSlam? Where is this going to be Raquel Rodriguez's moment? And into a German suplex again by Rhea Ripley now into the cover. But a victory here. Big kick out found by Raquel again. Rhea Ripley definitely looking a little bit frustrated here. Clearly getting sick and tired of Ronda Rousey. Big double axe handle found by Raquel Rodriguez. And now Raquel Rodriguez off the ropes into a clothesline. Taking Rhea Ripley down. Rhea Ripley in some trouble here in the corner. Raquel Rodriguez with Rhea Ripley up into Snake Eyes and now off the ropes into the big boot. Rhea Ripley could be about to get pinned. Raquel Rodriguez, no, just a one count this time. I thought Rhea may have been in some trouble there, but she clearly has plenty left in the tank. Rhea Ripley finds a reversal. And now Rhea Ripley looking to finish off the match, connecting with the Riptide into the cover. Surely this one's all over. Oh my word, Raquel Rodriguez gets the shoulder up and she's quickly back to her feet as well. Look at the power of the Women's World Champion hanging Raquel Rodriguez up on the top rope. 
Off of that electric chair drop and a big kick out found again. Mikel Rodriguez really proving that maybe she is deserving of a world title opportunity. Now what's Rhea Ripley thinking? Oh, Rhea Ripley going into the prism trap. I don't think anyone has actually been able to escape this hold thus far in this universe mode series. And Raquel Rodriguez is not going to be the first to do so. Rhea Ripley with a massive, massive victory. The women's world champion, despite the distraction by Ronda Rousey, able to pick up the victory. But Raquel Rodriguez, it must be said, one hell of a showing by her.